That's what sustains drives. That's how you win ball games. Okay, let's go down to this one. This is here goes another chance. So this right here is just an amazing throw right here. First of all, look at that throw. Whoa. That that's with great arc touch, but within a short space space as well. But then once again, the same things we're talking about with this young man. All right, watch this. Pressure on him. It's just awareness. It, like pressure's on him. This guy's not even open yet. Not even open yet, but I'm going to throw him open by the way in the air and touch I put on the ball. It's beautiful. Doesn't feel it. Boom, right there. Give him your wide receiver a chance. You got I'm it? bring one back here. Watch. Watch his feet when he sees the pressure. He doesn't just step into that ball. Yeah. So he's already standing there. It's just a, I got to get it out now, and then drops that thing right over the shoulder. So it's an amazing good. throw. These are, this is a true freshman, ladies and gentlemen. This, these, this guy is just an elite talent, and all the things, the pieces are starting to fall into place for him mentally. He's starting to see the game. He knows who's coming. He understands the protection calls. Where to get the ball. Where the ball, get the ball, when to let it spit. And I mean, how it, many guys do we talk about every week, Roman, of it's quick protection. Yes. Pressure is coming. Throw the ball. Get it out. This is another play just set up here. Pressure again. Doesn't phase him. Throws the ball. Great pass down the field. We know how good he is as a deep ball thrower. But if you guys could bring that up large one more time, because I want to show you the end of this, okay? This is what I'm most impressed with with this throw. Do you so, want me to give you something on him before you get to the throw? Yes, please. Quickly? Okay, so we talked about this with Steve Sarkeesian a couple weeks ago when we had him on the show. Something right. that they ask. Stop right there. Go back just a little, just, just a little bit. Okay. okay. It's something that Billy Napier is going to ask his quarterbacks to do that right. other offensive coordinators are not in today's football. This is old school. Yeah. He's play action turning his back to the defense. That rarely happens in today's football. So then to turn back around and that pressure's already there and to know where you're going, to know to get the ball out, all of that happening right there, just impressive by DJ Lagway. To feel this, step up, run, run, run. Look, all right, when this ball is thrown. What's the problem? All right, this ball is going to be thrown right now. All right, look how far away this guy is. I'd say, what, five yards, right? About, five yeah, yards of space. A good five. All right, this ball is going to travel 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 yards. Ooh. And he only has to do is make up five yards, and he can't do it. That lets you know exactly what type of trajectory this young man has in that arm of his. I can throw a ball 35 yards, and the guy can't even react and close up four yards of space and at least be able to make he's a play on the ball. Down the, he's running the other way. Cole. What do you want to teleport? I, I, I want him to make the play. If I'm the DB coach, I want him to make <laughs> the play. He's make running play. this way, and the receiver kind of cuts in. Like sometimes I wonder how you think people are going to make these plays. Like because I made them. Sorry. Oh no. I made them. Didn't just do that. You, you got to get. You got to make that play. All right, Cole. Same game. Other side of the ball. <laughs> Get ready, folks. I'm going to try to stay calm here. Uh, you mentioned that LSU had not allowed many sacks this season, and they allowed a lot in this game. So six. Six how, on the year. Gave up seven in this game. How did it happen? One of our favorite things to talk about. Slide protection. Oh, no. <laughs> there you go. Balls out. Fumble. So we're not just going to get mad at slide protection because it has its place. So if you want to slide the protection, that's fine. Let's have an understanding, first and foremost, that we have first-time starter in at guard here. So let's protect him a little bit. Now, I think what Caleb Banks, Cam Jackson, and company knew was they were going to get a lot of slide protection, so they redirected their rush back inside when they saw it, because that happened multiple times in this game. Okay, so that's fine that we have a new guard that's getting taken advantage of and being rushed back inside. But why are we not helping him here? <laughs> this is taken care of. That's solidified. When you see the trouble coming here, you're allowed to come off and help a little bit. And this is where I've told you before, Roman, I feel like slide protection just kind of makes us go brain dead as offensive linemen. Dude. You have to understand how to still be a football player when you're going to slide the protection. That, okay. strip, that strip right there felt like what I see in practice when you just hold the ball into the dummy. All right, just... once again, let's oh. just go through here. Now, this is just part of this. I wanted to highlight that these individuals on the Florida defensive line, Caleb Banks here, whether it was Cam Jackson, these young men showed up. Yeah, they they won a lot of one-on-ones in this game. 
and this is just one of them. So there's not a lot to highlight here. This is just a nice little head bob. When your initial move doesn't work, that counter move to come back with the club, be able to get him off, but then he doesn't finish the sack. Obviously, you're coming up with George Gums comes off the other side. He actually finishes off the sack. So it's getting the initial pressure and allowing your teammates to come in and help finish the play off. I have nothing to say. It's just guys just whooping guys. I don't have nothing else to say. Well, that one wasn't as much strategy as some of the <laughs> others that we're going to talk about. But yes, I wanted the Florida. I wanted them to know that we're giving them some credit as well. So what are we going to do to protect our guys here a little bit, Roman? We're going to go. A little play some, action. A little play action. Okay? All right. So. Now, play action usually means you fire off the football. I try to get you thinking that we're running the ball. Yes. Well, when you just slide the protection and drift backwards, they're probably not thinking run. <laughs> so what happens here? Play action. We're just kind of sitting back. You got pressure off the outside. You get it out just a little bit and run it by, but we have to finish our box, Will Campbell. And then obviously on the other side as well. So we'll let it go one more time, full speed. Your pressure is going to come from out here. That's fine. We handle that and we run it by. Nuss steps up just a little bit, kind of makes it happen. Looks like he's going to buy a little bit more time in the pocket, but here comes extra pressure off the backside, redirects back in. You have more pressure out here. We're standing around watching. Those are the things that can't take place. Your quarterback. This is get this is hard for you to say like, oh, he's open. Like, look where your quarterback's at. He's under pressure. A lot of duress well, in the pocket. And he's got another guy. Open. <laughs> he's the quarterback. He not sees open. a lot of things. <laughs> he's got a lot so of things going happen. on. But what happens with initial pressure sometimes that I don't think we think about. This is what Coach Saban used to talk about. Affect the pocket. I don't care about sacks. Yeah. Affect the pocket. Yes. So as soon as this initial pressure comes right here, okay, now we're affecting the pocket. Like you said, he's not able to see that route coming open. No. He's definitely not able to go ahead and set up and throw the football. But don't give up on me here and here if this doesn't initially work out. Rest of the pressure comes, and they're able to finish it off even though the initial pressure doesn't get there. All right, one more as we kind of take a look at how Florida was able to rack up some of these sacks. We'll watch the play through the first time. Once again, yes, we have a first-time guard starting over on the left side. So we'll try to give him a little bit of help. What are we going to do? Great job by the Florida staff. Knowing what we have here. Yeah. All right, it's the first time starting again. Oh, you're putting two guys on me. <laughs> what? What are we going to do? <laughs> I mean, come on. I agree. So we're going to slide the protection here. What did I tell you that the defensive line did last time? That was Caleb Banks, now Tyreek Sapp. Redirect back inside because yeah. what tends to happen in slide protection? We drift because we only have one thing on our brain is to get in that gap and we stay there and we don't move. And that's what you saw happen on that last play. The Florida defenders knew what was coming and they attacked it the right way. They redirected away from where that slide was going to be, and when they saw it, they noticed it, and that's what helped get them all those sacks. Big win for the Florida Gators huge. going for Huge for the Florida Gators. Very disappointing for the LSU Tigers, but it's always next week. Tight atmosphere. Everybody was so excited about this game, where South Carolina as a team is heading, as a program where they're at, but Missouri was game ready. Cole, you were there on the sidelines. You were at that game. What was it like? It was wild because I would say at halftime, if you would have asked me, I would have said Missouri's out. They're done. <laughs> South Carolina's about to step on their throat. And then with a minute and a half, two minutes left, I would have said Missouri is about to step on South Carolina's throat. The Gamecocks are out of this game. They find a way to come back. It was a wild, wild football game, a crazy ending, a lot of great plays. It was fun to be there because that atmosphere was rocking. No, all right, so here we go. I want to talk about South Carolina, okay. what they were able to do. And how they're able to finish games off. They, they continue to show me that they're a good team because they're winning in different fashions, yes. different ways. And so I'm going to take you into a defensive meeting room. I'm the coordinator. You guys are sitting in the chairs. You are the defense. So here's what we have to do so to I'm like stop. A player, I'm like a player for this? There we go. There we go. You're like a player. All right. I didn't bring my notepad. It's okay. I mean, All right. It's okay. okay. I got I you. Here we go. This is the synopsis of what we're facing this weekend, guys, and South Carolina is that team. Number one, what we have to do is understand who our opponents are. Let's, is Cole sleeping in my meat huh? right now? What? Oh, Lord. All right. No, there we go. This is what you're going to have to deal with, ladies and gentlemen. All right? Now, absolutely amazing play. Fourth quarter, six minutes left to go, third and ten. Big play moments. Right? Lenore Sellers is a young quarterback that's starting to figure out his superpowers. And so right here, he drops back, 
Missouri's in perfect defense right here. Why? Because they have a spy player that's on the edge of the defense that's not even rushing. I'm actually waiting for the quarterback. He gets out there. Oh, I got him. This is a great defensive call here. And then all of a sudden, I don't got him. And then as this play progresses, he continues to. And then watch this throw. It's right here on the inside shoulder. Why the defense is on the outside shoulder. I'm not even going to let you speed up because maybe his knee went down. I don't know. But first down. He ain't doing that to me, coach. Okay, I got you. I like that. I like that. I like your type. That's why you're in my defensive room. I need that attitude right there. All right, here we go. The next one. What we, the next thing that we have to do, tackle the quarterback in the pockets, number one. Number two, we have to tackle in space. Joshua Simon is a player at tight end that's really starting to come alive in this defense. He and Rocket Sanders are guys that they like to get the ball to that, hey, from somehow or another, he's going to come from the other side. You got to keep your eyes on him, but most importantly, tackle in space. If you don't tackle this team, they will break a lot of tackles, and all of a sudden now you're in a dogfight. So he looks slow to me, Coach. You got him. I love that. I love that. Confidence. Outside the meeting room, Joshua Simon, <laughs> MVP of that offense for me so far this year. Okay. All right. Here we go. Another one. Fourth quarter, 22 seconds left in the game. Missouri's trying to hold him to a field goal. Maybe go to overtime. Let's take it to overtime, see where we're at. But this South Carolina team, like I said, continues to find ways to win games differently each week. All right. You got to make go. a play, coach. You got to make a play. What are we going to do? We're going to blitz. Yeah, got to create a play. Coach, why ah. are we blitzing away from the shovel? Well, coach didn't know the shovel was coming from that side. All right, <laughs> so here we go. But Missouri was fine if you do what I just talked about, which is tackle the ball carrier right here. You got a guy that's coming right here. We got to make this tackle. Oh. That's one right here. Coming up next, you can't block him. You got to bring your arms. 24, I need you right here on the inside shoulder. Wrap Track up. the inside hip. Then our next two guys, we got to finish oh, them off. Not the 12, shoulder. I need you to keep going. This is what South Carolina loves to do. And if you don't come in and approach them with the right demeanor in our meeting room, staying awake, doing those little extra things, make sure we still go into class. They're not doing that on us, Coach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like it. All right. That's what we got here. And then this is another example of who this guy Lenore Sellers is. All right. Mm. This is three, three. Let's go. I'm going to show it all, all right? Because that was Delvon Campbell, who all of a sudden hasn't really showed up a lot all year. But when you're a hot team, everybody makes plays. And so this is what I love about this play. All right? We come in, the play's going. Number one, can't get behind the quarterback. We're not going to get behind the quarterback this week, okay? Remember that. We're not going to get behind the quarterback this week. We do that with a lot of scramble patterns. And the other thing is, is that, oh, he's such an athletic quarterback, you think he's trying to run. No. This guy scrambles to create and open lanes up for his receivers to get open downfield. And he wants to throw the football. He doesn't scramble to run. He scrambles to throw it. So it's a different mindset of what you're trying to do and really understand how you're going to be able to complete, compete and beat this team. You got any questions for me this week, Cole? We got this, Coach. All right, I love it. That's what that's that's the D coordinator's take on it all. All right, and my players are responding with the right attitude. They say they got it. I love it. I'm glad you went with this team. I'm glad you went with this South Carolina Gamecock team because there might be a guy who shows up in our unsung heroes that we want to talk about. Mm -hmm. A couple of folks around the SEC not getting enough credit that Roman and Harper and I wanted to shout out just a little bit. So our unsung heroes so 